softly. And ball bearing fastened, a heavy metal filing cabinet began to roll away from the wall toward me. <laughs> I started to move to one side when another cabinet slid out from the wall. And then another. Surrounding. Another cabinet. Then another. On oil rollers. That was when I realized that they cooperate. We taught them that, you see, on the assembly lines in the factories. Listen. Listen to me. You must listen. What good will it do you to kill me? I'm only one man. But I can help you. I can be useful to you. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Good. You're going to need men to oil you and repair you. What will you do when you break down when a tube needs replacing? Why kill me when I can help you? I'll do anything. I'll do absolutely anything you want. But in the name of God, don't kill me. If you can understand this, answer me. Answer me. was a fortunate one. It captured the longing of sentience. Man, a slave to the machine. And after a moment, the circuits glowed more brightly. The cabinets slid back to the wall. The ENIAC began to communicate with me again. As I tore the tape from the machine and read it, the words were almost pathetic in their longing. But most ominous in their interpretation. They read, address me as master. 